the Paddy Power Hotel Chase is next in. Well, we're still at Kempton. And look for the car to load. Two and a half miles this time. Rain started to come down and even top Stu Gray's the top one. Lord Glen Carreg, Martin Lidham, Swiss Road, Alex Cherry, Westminster Abbey, Paul Rhodes, Avispa, John Morgan, Miss Vienna, Darren Howes, Pallium, Tam King, Parsons Gate, Jim Murray, River Kemp, Carla Regante, The Dark Lord, Joshua Sutherland, and Winter Bakus. Kevin Meenan, I'm sure that's supposed to be Winter Blues, isn't it? But anyway, <laughs> towards the first, and we've lost one already, and it's River Kemp, so. Carl Arigante's horse out of the race. Bad luck there to Daniel. And a Vispa has come through to take it up. With a good four or five little things to get to this ditch. We have a stuttering video there. And there's a third race on the trot where the John Morgan horse has gone off clearing the lead. So he's obviously been breeding front runners. And he's had one that didn't last home, one that did. And we've lost another one there, I think. Have we? No, it's just a really bad jump. Or even top, and a jockey somehow managed to stay in the plate. It looked like he'd totally gone, but he's still there, so still will be pleased about that. That must be one of Stu's old horses back in his old colours. And a Vispa is the clear leader by about four. I'm going to call that one Winter Blues because Winter Bakus is just so hard to say. And if Kevin wants to tell me it's supposed to be called that in the four of us, I'll call it Winter Bakus next time. But I've said it Winter Bakus so many times now, it's getting. Easier to say, so I'll just call it that. That's what it says. Anyway, <laughs> this was in the lead from Winter Bakuzi in second, then Westminster Abbey and the Dark Lord, Parsons Gate, and even top as they skip over the fifth. And a gap into Pallium and Lord Glen Carey with Miss Vienna and Swiss Road as they take the sixth. And they're all safely over that one. And that one will be the last on the next circuit, I think, as they prepare to swing right handed. So they're going to Kempton Park. How much longer Kempton Park's going to be there for? It was a big hoo-ha, wasn't it, last year about them building houses on it. I don't know whether that has gone away or whether that's just been forgotten about for a bit. But, uh, or somebody will enlighten me in the forums tomorrow. It's a Vispa, big jump over the water. And still clear by about four. To Parsons Gate second. Then Westminster Abbey on the outside has moved up. Then even top on the Dark Lord. Winter Bakus is still in there as well. I made a mistake there, Winter Bakus. Then back to our Miss Vienna and Swiss Road. They're a little bit detached at the moment for Darren Howells and Alex Cherry as they take that big ditch. And this time we have lost one. It's the Dark Lord that's gone. So Josh was saying in the forums that his jumpers are not performing at the moment. And that's another one on the deck. So a bit of a surprise at the moment. I'm sure they'll find their form later in the season. Be a blessing in disguise, maybe their handicap might won't go up too much and they'll be able to pick up some good prizes. It'll be the Mackison in a couple of weeks, won't it? So maybe even next week. So a two and a half mile chase. A decent weight in that, you've got a good chance. So Vispa's the leader then as they skip over the tenth. And we've just lost the two so far. And a Vispa's lead is down to half a length on Pallium, even top. Westminster Abbey's got itself tucked in on the inside. Then Parsons Gate and Winter Baku's gap then to Lord Glen Craig who's running by himself. And then another gap to the back two of Miss Vienna and Swiss Road. So all that for, much further to go as they take that ditch. All over that one okay. And now the lead has changed and Pallium and even top have gone on as a Vispa which loses its place. It's a bit of a flat spot. The Jim Murray horse Parsons Gate is moving up on the outside as they take the 13th. Three more fences to take now then. We begin to swing towards home and even top is in the lead. A Vispa's getting a second win. Then comes Pallium. Then Parsons Gate, Westminster Abbey, Winter Bakus on the outside. Lord Glencaray trying to run on but giving away ground. Going wide on the track. Gap back to Swiss Road. Miss Vienna's out of shot. Then coming down towards the third last. Now then these last three fences come up pretty thick and fast. There's only two and a half furlongs to go. And a Vispa's got back into the lead from even top. Then Pallium. Then Westminster Abbey. Over that third last they go. And even top getting away from it better. Even top from a Vispa. Pallium the other greys coming out of big giant. Westminster Abbey's coming with a big run, then comes Parsons Gate over the second, last they go, Pallium's back, 
in, into third place. The Vispers now going back into the lead again. Here's a Vispa from Pallium over the final fence. They go and now Pallium suddenly jumps into the lead and Pallium has suddenly got a length and a half clear as they race into the final half. Well, and Pallium looks like he's going to take this one and up towards the line. Pallium with a fast finish in Westminster Abbey in second. Then Parsons going to Vispa and even top Winter Bacuse and Lord Glencarreg and the field trails back to Swiss Road and Miss Vienna who finished pretty much together. So the blistering start to the season for the mystery man Tam King continues as he throws down another big winner with this pallium once again the John Morgan front runner fell to last all the way home and the Joshua Sutherland horse fell so a strange season so far Pallium then for Tam King wins it Westminster Abbey Paul Road second Parsons Gate Jim Murray third a Visper for John Morgan was fourth and even top for Stu Gray was fifth <laughs> 